Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to import WooCommerce products automatically from Google Sheets. So imagine this, you are using Google Sheets to build a database of your products. So your idea is that once you enter the fields like product name, price and image, a product must be created in WooCommerce. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details from Google Sheets, sort them out and manually add a product in WooCommerce. Now the problem with this approach is, it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So here I would suggest that you bring in some automation. So that whenever a new data is entered in Google Sheets, automatically create a product in WooCommerce. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Google Sheets and WooCommerce. The best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you with an example. Okay, so basically we are going to build a product here. So the name of the product is um, watch, smartwatch. Okay, smartwatch. And the status I'm straight away making it as uh, published. And the price is uh, 400 or how about we give it as 500. And the price we are offering is uh, 250. And the description is 12 blades, lithium, battery, a small description. Now coming to this part, that is the image URL. So basically, as you can see, I have already entered a image. So basically, this is my image URL. So I'm just going to paste it here. Okay, so the number of products I have is let's say 100. Okay, so basically we have filled all the details. So we have entered the product name that is smartwatch. The status is uh, published straight away. And uh, the price I'm keeping it as 500, the save price as 250. The description 12 blades lithium. Okay, and uh, this is the image URL. Okay, so basically this is the image URL. Now image URL is uh, something that I have directly taken from internet. Now if you have your own image of your product, you can also enter that. Okay, and then we have entered the inventory. The inventory, we have uh, hundreds of them. Okay, so let me just take you to WooCommerce to show you if the product has been created or not. So this is the product page in my WooCommerce store. So let me just uh, refresh this. Okay, so it is getting refreshed. Give it one or two seconds. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the product that is smartwatch. The price, as you can see, is... Uh, is usually 500 but we are offering it as 250 so basically this is the gist you add the details of a product in google sheets it will be reflected or created as a product in woocommerce now to begin the actual integration process in the new tab let me just type pabli.com so your obvious question is why pabli.com and your second question is why are we working in incognito mode well the answer is very simple pabli connect has an app called as pabli connect that will integrate google sheets and woocommerce now the second thing that is why are we working in incognito mode well the answer is very simple now uh, if you're working with google sheets and have multiple gmail accounts there will be problem of authentication so always always if you have multiple gmail accounts and you are working with google sheets and it involves public connect it is always advisable you work in incognito mode okay so this is the website of pabli.com let me just click on sign in Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find Connect. Just click on Access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, Create Workflow. Click this. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow. Now, before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So as you can see, I have a uh, already made an integration that has integrated Google Sheets and WooCommerce. Actually, I have built two of them. Now, the reason I'm switching off this workflows is because um, if we create a new workflow and if this old workflow is work running in parallel to it, there will be the problem of duplication of results. So to avoid uh, the same product being created twice in WooCommerce, I have switched off this old workflow. It is actually none of your concern because we are going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. Okay, so how about I give the name Google Sheets to WooCommerce integration. 
okay of course you can give any name according to your discretion it's totally up to you so when you click on create a window appears in front of you this is called as the trigger window so basically we are going to create a new workflow now if you want to clone this workflow the template of this workflow is available in the description box so in the choose app how about we make it as google sheets google sheets i'm sorry yeah this one now in the trigger event how about we make it as new spreadsheet row okay so new spreadsheet row is a trigger event so robbie's question is what is a trigger event trigger is basically a if statement it asks a question if this condition is met what should be done for example if a new row is made in google sheet then what action should be taken by the system now at present we only have one trigger event that is new spreadsheet row but in case if you want more trigger events according to your choice you just have to approach the help section and click here so when you just uh, click on the help section you will be directed to pabli forums now in pabli forums you can make a request that you want so and so action event or the trigger event okay so you just make a request here okay so let me just take you back to pabli connect okay and let me just uh, copy this webhook url okay so basically what happens here is we just uh, are going to integrate pabli connect to a google sheet now this is a old sheet okay now for your consideration i have created a newly new sheet and the idea is that we are going to integrate this particular google sheet to pabli connect so let me just close this uh, old google sheet okay now what i'm going to do here is since we are going to integrate this google sheet to pabli connect let me just click on add-ons now uh, as you can see in the add-ons you will find an add-on called as pabli connect webhooks so just click here now before i click on pabli connect webhooks there is something i have to tell you now pabli connect webhooks is an add-on that i have installed in your system now in case uh, in your case pabli connect webhooks might not been installed yet because you are beginning fresh so all you have to do is just click on get add-ons okay so when you click on get add-ons google workspace marketplace opens up so basically this is where you search for the add-on so i'm just going to type pabli connect webhooks pabli connect webhooks yeah the first one so basically you just uh, search for this uh, add-on and when it loads you just basically click on that button and have it installed in your google sheet also so as you can see this pabli connect webhook is already installed and all you have to do is just click on this button and pabli connect webhook will be installed now there is something you should know after installing pabli connect webhooks do not forget to refresh your google sheet i repeat again after installing pabli connect webhooks do not forget to refresh your google sheet so let me just cancel this going back to add-ons clicking on pabli connect webhooks so in the drop down you will find the first option that is initial setup click this okay now before i deal with initial setup there is something i have to show you so as you can see g column g okay so at the last we have column g so g is our last data entry column because after column g there is in no need for data entry so g is our last entry column so g is always the last entry column which is always the trigger column so basically here in the initial setup window it is asking me two choices the webhook url and the trigger column let's deal with the trigger column now the trigger column is always the last data entry column i repeat again the trigger column is always the last data entry column in our case the last en data entry column is column g so i'm mentioning the trigger column as g easy now coming to the webhook url this is something that we have copied okay so we have copied this and i'm just going to paste it here okay so the webhook url has been entered we have also entered the trigger column let me just click on submit okay so when you click on submit so basically this means that you have integrated this google sheet to public connect now there is something else you have to do now to ensure that any time column g is filled it must send the data to public connect all you have to do is just go to add-ons public connect webhooks and this time just click on send on event so this will ensure that any time any row in column g is filled it will keep sending on the data so as to ensure that public connect captures this data always remember you should have your webhook waiting for it waiting for the data so as you can see it is already waiting for the data okay so let me just uh, enter some details so how about uh, we enter a detail how about we work on a tv okay so we are going to build a tv so the product name is uh, vibrant tv and the status i'm straight away keeping it as published now the price of the tv is uh, 2000 the price at which we are offering is uh, 1750 the description is 
LED TV and then what else 24 colors 190 1980 pixels okay now coming to the image URL so basically this is an image URL that I have downloaded from internet so I'm just going to copy this and here I'm going to paste it okay so let me just enter the image URL now coming to the inventory so we can enter the inventory as uh, 100 we have 100 of them okay so we have entered the product name we have uh, mentioned the status as straight away published and uh, the price is 2000 the price we are offering is uh, 1750 so basically this is the market price so <laughs> we are actually giving you a discount and this is the description okay and then we have entered the image url and this is the inventory now since public connect is integrated with this particular google sheet let's check whether public connect has captured this data or not so let's have a look okay so it is waiting for the data and yes we have got the data so the product name is vibrant tv the status is published then we have the regular price that is 2000 so as you can see this these are basically the same details that we have got from a google sheet okay and then we have the description led tv 24 colors 1980 pixels this is the image url so this is the image url and then we have the inventory that is 100 so basically using all this data we are going to create a product in woocommerce now to create a product in woocommerce first of all let me just click on this plus button so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is an action window so in the choose app how about we make it as woocommerce woocommerce it is now in the okay so now in the action event how about we make it as create a product okay so where is it create a product create a product okay i'm sorry okay so retrieve a product so as you can see we have a ton of them so about we just randomly search for it okay update a product create a product create a product where is create a product so as you can see we do have a ton of them so yeah yeah this is the one create a product so action event is create a product now in case if you want more action events I actually showed you a ton of them now if you want more action events just approach Pabli forums and make a request that you want so and so action event okay so let me just click on connect in the connection name we have to enter three fields the consumer key the consumer secret and the website URL so how about we start with the easy one the website URL so basically this is my website URL let me just take you to WooCommerce and let me just copy this this is my website URL I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here remember do not put on the slash sign okay it is uh, mandatory that without ending slash you should not put the slash sign now coming to the consumer key and the consumer secret so to get these details let me just straight away take you to the uh, WooCommerce plugin so let me just uh, take you to the plugin so where yeah so this is the plugin and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on setting and open this in a new tab okay so as you can see this is the settings page let me just click on advanced okay so this is the advanced settings page all you have to do is just click on rest api click this okay so as you can see i have already added a ton of api keys now this is for your consideration i'm going to create a new key so let me just click on add key okay so first of all we are going to create a new key now in the description how about we mention it as uh, a random name a random name we just want a random name so since it is this data is coming from google sheets so i have just make it as description google sheets data one okay just a random name and in the user it's basically asking or mentioning your email id with which you have logged in we don't have to change that now coming to the permission so by default it is showing read how about we make it as read and write okay so let me just click on generate api key okay so this is my consumer key and this is my consumer secret i'm just going to copy my consumer key and i'm going to paste it here so this is my consumer key and we have pasted it now coming to the consumer secret so let me just uh, go to the dashboard i'm sorry here and let me just copy this this is the consumer secret i'm copying this and i'm going to paste it here so we have entered the consumer key the consumer secret and of course the website url let me just click on save so when you click on save a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of these blanks is very simple we are going to create a product 
in WooCommerce from the data that we have received from Google Sheet via Public Connect. So as you can see, we have the product name. So we are just going to click here and we are just going to click on the first accordion. And this is the product name that is Vibrant TV. Now, we don't have any data regarding the product slug. So we are just going to ignore that. The product type, again, we don't have any data. Now, in case if you want more data, you just create your own fields in Google Sheets. Okay. Now, coming to the product status. Now, what we have to go in, going to do here is I'm just going to copy this. Okay. And just paste it here. So the idea is that once we start uh, filling in the Google Sheet, it will straight away publish, get published as a product. So that is why I have mentioned it as published. Now, uh, we don't have any data regarding the SKU. Stop keeping unit is basically, I will be keeping the stock keeping unit as the inventory. That will be the number of stocks. So I'm just going to ignore that. Now in the category visibility, we just ignore that. And now coming to the regular price. So how about we mention it as the regular price is basically the market price that is 2000. Now the sale price that we are offering is uh, 1750. We have mapped it. Now this is basically the attributes or the description so this is the description we have mapped it and the short description we don't need that and the stock quantity how about we mention it as uh, the number of things that is here so that is 100 okay so we have mapped it easy now the stock status so how about we just copy this because we have a hundred of them and I'm just going to paste it here okay now we don't need any product tags, but in case if you just want more tags, you just uh, copy this code and paste it here and just mention your tag. Now the category, I'm keeping it as uncategorized. Now comes the most important part, the image URL. So basically to enter the image URL, all you have to do is copy this. Okay. So this is the image URL. This is how you enter the image URL, copy this section and paste it here. Okay. So we are not ready here. We have to mention this image. Okay. So where is the image? This image this is the image URL and this is something that we have got from our Google Sheet via Public Connect so I'm just going to remove the URL and I'm going to paste ours so this is the image URL excellent so actually we are pretty much ready all we have to do to create a product in WooCommerce is just click on save and send test request so let me do that okay so we basically have got a positive API response that the product has been created so let me just take you to product. Okay, so this is the product page and let me just refresh this. So when it will get refreshed, it will probably show the product if it is successful, if the integration is successful. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the product that is Vibrant TV and this is the price and this is the category that we have kept in uncategorized. So the presence of this product shows that we have successfully integrated Google Sheets and WooCommerce with help of Public Connect. Now, before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I'm just taking back to public connect and I'm going to uh, minimize this action window and I'm going to minimize the trigger window. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Google sheets to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to WooCommerce. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google sheets and WooCommerce. Excellent.